Hi everyone, it's Mama Wani here and I'm bringing you a video with some tips and tricks that you may want to know before you go to your baby's two month well visit. The video is going to be divided into three parts. Things you want to make sure that you know before you go. Things the doctor probably will ask you at the visit and what actually happens at the video. So stay tuned. or bring all right one make sure that you have your baby's insurance card or insurance information this will be different from when they were previously seen by the pediatrician because the baby now has to have their own policy they do they are no longer covered under the mother's um, insurance the second thing that you want to know is what is the copay for the uh, doctor's appointment and does it have to be in cash can it be card um, you don't want to get caught off guard and then the third thing that you want to make sure that you have is the list of questions that you kind of listed or <laughs> the list of questions that you have made um, in the weeks that you've been um, with your child and have been burning to ask your pediatrician. Next part is the things the doctor will probably ask you at the appointment just to kind of check on the baby's growth and development. So one, they're going to ask you how much is the baby sleeping? Well, you can't really remember what you had for breakfast. How are you supposed to know how many hours that the baby is sleeping? This is not a general question. This is not a hard question. It's kind of a like general, is the baby sleeping between 14 and 18 or so hours out of 24 hours? This is total, including cat naps, anything like that. So don't be alarmed. I'm going to just give a guesstimate. And then the next thing they're going to want to know about is how much your baby is smiling or do they smile when you smile? Um, this can is very fluid. When you get to the doctor's appointment, if the baby is not smiling like a huge, big, full-on gummy smile, it is okay. Don't be alarmed. If the baby can start before, they can start after. They just want to make sure that the baby is kind of responding in some general way with their face when you are smiling. The next thing they're going to want to ask you about is the baby's eye focus. Do they follow you around the room? Do they follow objects when you hold them out that kind of catch the baby's attention? And then the final but probably most important to the pediatrician is how is the baby peeing and pooping? So what color is it? How many times? What's the consistency? And this will vary depending on if your baby is breastfed or um, formula fed. And don't worry if you don't have an exact number. This once again is just kind of like a guesstimate so the, so the child's pediatrician um, can get an idea of kind of like di digestion system. And then the third thing, third section is going to be what happens at the actual appointment itself. So first they're going to do like a, like a physical, like when you go to the doctor, just like a basic physical height, weight, reflexes, um, pupil dilation, they're going to check their ears, stuff like that, just to kind of get an idea of their growth. The, also what they're going to do is check the baby's head size. This will give them an idea of uh, what your baby's frame will be like when they continue to grow. Um, the next thing they're going to check is the baby's soft spot on their head just to make sure there's no inflammation or swelling around the area that is closing. Everything seems pretty normal with that. Their ability to control their head, moving it back and forth, or if it's just kind of like up and down, they're probably gonna pull them up by their arms just to make sure that the baby can somewhat hold their head up and it's kind of still not flopping like when they were a newborn. So the next and probably most anticipated part of the two month doctor's appointment are the shots. Now don't be alarmed. Your baby will be okay. The shots that they're going to be given, um, it's not going to be like a series of shots, but there are several viruses and diseases that they're going to get protection from, including the germs that cause polio, ear infection, whooping cough, diphtheria, and meningitis. Those will usually be included in that shot. And then they'll also get an oral um, kind of like droplet with the medicine dropper. The final thing they're going to do is they're going to want to schedule your four month uh, shot update appointment. It is very important because these have to be right on schedule. They don't want to kind of, they can't wait to your five month appointment that kind of messes up your immunization schedule. So they want to make sure that you have that fourth appointment scheduled that week. 
just so they can make sure they have an opening for you. That's pretty much it. All the information you really need to know about your baby's two month old well visit. All I need you to do is kind of like, comment, share, and subscribe. Any questions or concerns, anything that I missed, please comment below. See you guys in the next video.